Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I did my sister's prom makeup. I went with a bronzy gold look because she was wearing a navy blue dress, so I thought it would complement it well. It was really fun, it's really nice to see her going to prom because I didn't get to go to prom, or I didn't want to go to prom. So if you want to see how I accomplished her gold look, then let's get into it. And sorry, I have a baby in the background. She's mega chilling, huh Lila? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Mother. Mother. Sucker. All right, so my sister already washed her face. We're just gonna jump into moisturizer. Um, disclaimer, she has oily skin. So if you have dry skin, combination, whatever, do your skincare how you would normally do it. I'm gonna let her moisturizer absorb before I apply any primers or any of that stuff. I'm gonna go in with my Skin Food Peach Sake Pore Serum. This really helps control oil and smooth out the skin for application. So I'm gonna keep this mostly focused in the T-zone because that's where she gets oily, but I'm not gonna neglect the rest of her face either. So I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer and I'm going to put the milk blurring stick kind of like right on the outsides of her nose to really get those pores going away. Just where her pores are showing a little more. We're ready for foundation. We're actually going to do brows first and then we're all right, so I'm going to start with her brows. I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. We got her brows on, and now I'm going to put on some foundation. We're going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in Medium Sand. All right, so I got the foundation on. It's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium for highlighting under her eyes. Look up. Just very little bit because the foundation was already pretty full coverage. So I'm just gonna hit like the brightening areas. I'm gonna set everywhere I put concealer with my Cover FX setting powder. I really like this one because it really helps with creasing, but I'm gonna set the rest of her face with the airspun powder because this one's better for oily skin, personally. personally. I'm gonna use the Modern Renaissance palette by ABH and I'm going to start off by covering her whole eye with golden ochre. So I went in with golden ochre, covered her whole lid and now I'm going to go into raw sienna and focus that on the crease. I'm gonna go into this middle brown from the Carly Bible Deluxe palette and I'm gonna keep this right on the outer edges of her eye. So we're just gonna kind of carve out this eyelid area so we can put the gold in there um, just so it stands out more but it's not really gonna be like a cut crease or anything like that. We're gonna go in with the Carly Bible palette again. I'm gonna grab her highlighter, this gold highlighter, and I'm gonna dust that all over the lids. So lastly, to top it off, I'm gonna grab Un by um, Jen M's ColourPop collection. I'm gonna grab it with my finger and I'm just gonna tap it onto where the gold is at. Just to add like a little bit of glitter. I'm gonna grab raw sienna and I'm gonna blend this under her eyes. You guys should just get married. Look up. What? 
Oh. So now I'm gonna grab the glittery darker brown in the Carly Bible Deluxe palette and I'm also gonna blend that right in the outer corners of her under eye. And then lastly, I am going to put Primavera lastly in her corn inner corners to brighten it up. Whoa. So now I'm gonna do her face, contour, blush, highlight, all that good stuff. I'm gonna grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm gonna grab this middle shade right here and we're gonna carve out the cheeks. And we're gonna keep it right on the outer edge of her cheeks. I don't wanna do like a heavy contour just cause I don't know. I like natural better than like chiseled. I know it's a struggle, but would it be easy if it was worth doing? I'm gonna carve out her nose a little bit with the same shade. So now we're gonna blend out that contour. I'm gonna go in with the NARS Laguna bronzer. We're gonna keep the blush pretty um, subtle. We're not gonna do anything bright. So I'm gonna grab this middle shade in the um, Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. And I like to put a little bit on the nose to give it that little colored effect. Mm. Now I'm gonna do a gold highlight. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold. Hey. This one's really bright. So now I'm going to do the lashes. I'm going to use the Ardell Debbie Wispies, the 113s. I'm going to line her lashes with the NYX That's the Point eyeliner just to cover the band a little bit. All right, this is the finished look. The lip is a little bright right now, but when it dries down, it gets a little darker and it'll blend better with her makeup. Um, but yeah, this is it. She's gonna go get her hair done. We're kind of in a rush, so yay. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Sorry, it was kind of rushed at the end. It was getting late and she still had to do her hair, so we had to get it done as soon as possible. Um, I will definitely insert some pictures here to show you how it came out and how she looks with her dress on. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next one.